Google is a big fan of designing its own Nexus phones to properly show off its new Android offerings. And the Nexus S was not only the first model to bring gingerbread to the market, but also one of the first with NFC capabilities too. But the question is, has Google packed enough tech into the Samsung creation to prompt a continuation of the Nexus brand? The Nexus S is supposed to be a pure Google experience, meaning it's the first to get any Android updates without those pesky network delays. It's as simple as this. If Google likes it, you'll have it on this handset. Overall, we found the operation on the Nexus S was virtually judder-free. While the curved screen and plastic chassis might feel a little suspect at first, the phone is robust enough and sits well in the hand. And what's more, the OLED screen on the Nexus S is superbly vivid and bright, and really makes internet and media consumption a pleasure. The gingerbread keyboard is designed to be more intuitive, but in our opinion needs a lot of customization to allow speedy typing, and that's something many users might not be willing to do. Reading text on the internet is still a slightly painful experience with a multitude of taps and swipes needed to make it legible. Plus, the lack of a micro SD slot is more than a little irksome. The Nexus S is a no-frills handset that really delivers on the specs. It's affordable yet practical for the developer and early adopter alike, and offers a unique design relative to many other phones on the market. As NFC becomes widespread in the UK, the Nexus S could see a real surge in interest. However, with so many Android 2.3 handsets now on the market, unless you're after a Google-only experience, we'd have to say the Nexus S appeal is, for now, somewhat limited.